Begin tonight with a big question coming out of Albany. What's driving New Yorkers away from the Empire State? Yeah, that's what some lawmakers are demanding the state to investigate with new data showing a steady decline in population since the pandemic began. In fact, new census numbers show New York's population dropping roughly 630,000 between July 2020 and July 2023. Our state was also just one of eight to report a decrease in the last year. And lawmakers fear if the trend here is not reversed, New York could lose influence on Capitol Hill. One estimate predicts our state could lose three congressional seats in the 2030 census. So we know a lot of you talking about this right now. You have a lot of opinions, right? Well, that comes along with a topic like this. So we wanted to explore it from multiple sides for you tonight. You're going to hear from a Western New Yorker who made the choice to move out, an expert on the factors pushing people away, plus a lawmaker calling for the state to investigate this, all of them weighing into 7 News reporter Kristen Morant. Dr. Phil Spinoza grew up in Western New York and graduated from college in Northern New York. And then from there, I kind of had a choice whether I could return home to Western New York or pursue opportunities elsewhere in the U.S. And I chose to actually move to San Francisco Bay Area. He earned a Ph.D. in chemical engineering and now works in the pharmaceutical industry thousands of miles from home. The opportunities here as far as advancement and scope of the role really were able to pull me more than um, pull me out of Western New York. Spinoza's urge to move out of New York is a similar story for the more than 101,000 people who left the state in a one year span between July of 2022 and 2023. That number higher than any other state. New York had its third consecutive year of losing population. And where are they going? Well, many people in the New York City area are not going far, New Jersey. While many people upstate are choosing states like Texas and Florida, which saw the largest jumps in population last year. Texas added more than 473,000 people, Florida 365,000. And you can even see on this map here where people are going in blue and where people are leaving in red. Ken Garadin with Empire Center for Public Policy says the problem is we're seeing more people move out than in. And that's a reflection of the lack of economic opportunity upstate and the cost of living downstate. One of the biggest drivers behind people moving, working age people at least, is where they can find employment. And this data has caught the attention of two state lawmakers from both sides of the aisle, Senator James Tedisco and Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara. So the two recently announced legislation to address the population loss. The legislation would create a commission on New York State out migration. The commission, which would be made up of 13 lawmakers, three appointed by the governor, would take a year to look into why people are leaving. So I spoke to Assemblyman Santa Barbara about this. I would expect this commission to look at the unique needs of, of the regions that we talked about, looking to agriculture, energy needs, uh, job opportunities, healthcare, economic development. Uh, but I think it can help us identify some significant factors that are leading to population law. Santa Barbara says he would like to see this bill brought up during the next session in Albany. Whatever the fastest track is to get this passed, I think it should be passed. Krista Moran, 7 News.